What's up, Soul Tribe? <clears throat> I'm back again. It's like a damn tornado outside. I'm just chilling in my room again. Well, I've been in here. Just thinking. I listened to some comedic meditation music. That's what I was doing. I probably will upload a few tarot readings later. It's better if I upload it from my phone. The camera on my computer is horrible. I just won't be able to go live. But it's all good. This is like a little diary for me. But um, earlier when I made my last video, I was like kind of amped up a little bit. So I probably will change it. But I had a neighbor from hell. And um, she convinced a new property manager that I was a nuisance, even though the property manager started working here the same month that the lady moved in, so she didn't know me at all, enough to judge my character. So together, based off of false judgment, my life's been crazy for the past two years. She wouldn't even accept rent from me, but like I was saying on the last video, miraculously, all the money came through. They even did something for me that normally doesn't happen for others, so gratitude to the angel that picked up the phone today. Um, I don't want to I don't know, like, I can't even say I'm angry. I'm just confident that everything will work out. I was angry, but like I told y'all before, I've come to the conclusion that they were mentally disturbed a long time ago. That's why I never said anything mean or wrong to them at all. So... Tomorrow I'll show proof that I have the money and I will work things out tomorrow. Today is like a rainy day and it's windy outside and stuff like that. And as long as my children are happy, that's all that matters. My goal is to just be here until the end of the school year. I ain't even going to lie. I allowed people around me that didn't have the best for me in mind, while at the same time I had the best for them in mind, especially to teach them and turn them on to new things this year, but I don't know, I gotta take care of my children and myself now and instead of giving energy to people who don't care enough for my well-being that's why I started to hop on YouTube and talk to you guys but I'm going to try to speak with clarity and to be concise about things think about what I say before I say it or sometimes I can't because I channel but then I talk fast like six off of Blossom and fuck it I gotta be myself I don't know what it is about the energy today but yesterday and today it's been off the wall but I'm gonna continue to pay homage to my ancestors and continue to trust the process I'm going to trust the process as a Taurus, sometimes I, I just, I like to be comfortable. So much so to a default. So much so to a default. But now I've learned to become more and more comfortable with change. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be the change I want to see. That's what I've been doing. Regardless of what goes wrong, I've been keeping it together, and I applaud myself for that. 
Shit, I know that we're not alone. That's what's been keeping me going. Actually. Know that you're never alone. Sometimes there's no answer for why things happen, but maybe the answer is is that we end up in a better place than when we were before or learning a lesson that we wish we could have learned before is what we end up receiving, the priceless things. And that's another thing. I've been taking the price value off of things and just basically trying to um, be more thankful and show more gratitude. It's the only way to survive. That one with patience, that's like one of the hardest lessons you can learn. It's patience. But the best way to be patient is to fill that time with investments, like reading a new book or teaching yourself a new talent. And then before you can look up, you will realize that everything's okay. And what you've been waiting for is right there. I've tried so much to be patient with the wrong people, though. It's one of my downfalls. And it sucks, too. But it's okay, because... They were a part of my karmic lessons. But what I do know is that it's not too late. It's not too late to reinvent yourself. It never is. It's just that you got to stop caring about what others think about you. and Step one foot forward and just live your dream. Even if you're a person that wasn't taken serious throughout life. Boast yourself. Lift your voice. Just know that we can't get upset about things that we can't control. You can only control yourself. Know that you are beautiful and that you are strong. And that you are just as strong as your favorite superhero, if not stronger. And I know you're like, yeah, lady, shut up. No, for real, you are capable of so much. Just sit back and look at how much... You could have accomplished if you didn't procrastinate or if you didn't stagnate yourself or if you didn't watch that extra show or that extra tarot or that extra this or that. And if you put your mind on something, where you would be. And if you also were consistent at the same time. Well, anyway... I know I learned how to make pizza dough, so I'm going to go make some pizza from scratch for my children because I forgot I know how to do that. And if they ate, then they would be less quiet. Well, no, more quiet and less loud. (laughs) That's the only time that they're quiet is when they eat, right? And plus, when I'm upset or when I'm down, I'm not going to make the people that make me happy down. So I had to separate myself for a little bit. Like, yeah, brain, what's the plan for tomorrow? Or Pinky, what's the, the the plan for tomorrow? To take over the world, brain. That's how I feel. I'm going to take over the world. So, I'm just, I had to release some tension. You know, this is a form of therapy for me. Regardless of where I end up in this world, I know as long as I have love, I have happiness. As long as I can create my own heaven on earth and have peace, I have happiness. And that doesn't require a dime. Anyways. I wish you all the best. I send you love, light, and prosperity. Love you.